All right, so we'll get you caught up to where we are. We're replacing the, we're looking at replacing the half shaft. Obviously, we took off the wheel, um, got the brake caliper off, got the rotor off, and now we're working on um, getting the hub off. Now, these bolts in the back, um, I'm going to zoom in on that. There's three bolts that hold the hub on. And then you have to get to them from the back, which is very difficult. Um, and they're torqued probably well over 100. Um, so you're going to have to work at it. Uh, do yourself a favor. Um, turn the wheel as needed to get access to these. Um, because there's one in the front, too. You need all the leverage you can get. Unless you have air tools. But even sometimes fitting in there is going to be a problem. So we got those out. And straighten up the wheel for me. The next problem is actually getting the uh, getting the hub uh, off, and it's mounted to this uh, casing here. So <clears throat> we're going to try and chisel it off with the wedge. We, you can't use a gear puller because when you put the gear puller on here, it just pushes your half shaft. Um, one other thing we can try too is putting some bolts in the back and hammering it from behind, but uh, that even isn't really working too well um, and don't want to damage the threads. So we're going to try and wedge it out of here with a little bit of persuasion. I did hit it with some PB Blaster just to give us possibly an edge. So let's give that a shot. See that? Yep. And there she blows. It's two things that are holding it in. It's it's that slip seal right here. It's probably just welded itself in there. And then uh, you know any contact around here but that's quite a it's quite a, a housing to have to slide out on to the next step Just gotta find some more play.
So now I've got the half shaft loose. We can uh, take this and remove the lower control arm. Uh, then get the knuckle separated from here so that this thing is going to tilt out for us and give us the rest of the play to pull that thing out of there. So first we put a jack underneath it so that it won't flex out of the way. It's got a, quite a good spring on it, so it will um, give you hassle if you don't do that. Uh, dude, where did you have this setting? <laughs> what? This is needle nose. Hot? Yeah. Out in the sun. <laughs> that darn sun. So we'll pull the cotter pin out of the castle nut here. Can't give me the enforcer. I think it broke enough to come loose. Like that. Bing. See, I got my bing sound. All right. Now, the nut on the bottom. Let's see what size that is. drive. Mm -hmm. Are you using it? No, I'm done. Only uh, caveat is it's warm. <laughs> Put it in an ice bath. Try and carefully get under that boot so not to rip the boot. 